know me like that. I work hard and I play hard. <laughs> you know, one of these days, Lena, I'm gonna put this dinky little town on the map. <laughs> You're the only man I know who can do it. And you'll be right by my side as I do. <laughs> oh, sorry, sweet pea. It's just my back has been bothering me. Oh, here, August. Your wife is here. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Proper doctor. That also happens to cut hair <laughs> and replaces bad teeth with wooden ones. <laughs> Furthermore, her name is Edberga, not a witch. You really should just talk to her. She really is a kind person. I really think you should hold off on clearing the woods she calls home. You are just so Cute. Always trying to find the good in everyone. That's one of the reasons why I fell in love with you. <laughs> what was that? Uh, nothing. Long day, isn't it? Here, go put in the post office again. Okay. I'll be right there. I'll see you at home. Uh, hello, Bernadette. Oh, hello, Oliver. Per usual, I made you a lunch as well. Oh, thank you. Honestly. Getting to see you every day is the best part of being secretary. <laughs> oh, um, Bernadette, can I tell you something? Of course! You can tell me anything! All Hollow's Day is coming up, and I was wondering if you could help me decorate the outside of the building? Are you sure? For May Day, August said I went a little overboard with the decorating. Well, I thought you did a wonderful job. <laughs> I'll go home and grab a few things.
Oh, Bernadette, your hair shimmers like the stars. Your eyes are as wide and as captivating as the moon. You have a beauty that matches your purity and your kindness. I've had dreams where we dance in the fields and the fireflies light and sway with our movement. If only you knew how much your smile brightens my day. If only you knew that when I close my eyes, it's your face that I see. Although I can only dream of us being together, I just wish for a night that we can spend together. To, to talk until dawn, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Look who has a crush on the mayoress. Oh, I, I didn't see it there. <laughs> what would the mayor do if he found out about this? Oh, he, he'd get a new secretary. <laughs> now, what was it you did before becoming a secretary? Please, Lena, it was honest work. That's right. You were a swine herder. <laughs> Everyone, 
cares for the feelings of an old woman. It brings me great joy knowing that when you look at me, I'm not some old hag or just some old woman, that I'm a person. <laughs> yes, of course. You're one of my favorite people to talk to. Including Oliver, you two always have something fun and interesting to say. Not the same old, same old, you know, like everyone else. Like, oh, my cows have run away. <laughs> it must rain or my crops will die. <laughs> no, my favorite. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's probably just a raccoon. No one, 
it funny. <laughs> you can't just pick me off your alone. <laughs> no, please, bury me! <laughs> please! <laughs> something big here, and none of us are going to be safe till we find out who the werewolf is. There's no house that can keep it out, no trap it can't undo, no prayer that will keep it at bay. It's a mix of the worst parts of man and animal. Sure, I'll make sure to tell all the other villages. I'm sure they'll respond very well to that. <laughs> hmm, you're a strong man that can kill wild beasts. How about this? Let's keep this werewolf business between us. You guard the village tonight, and if you can kill this monster, I will pay you handsomely. I already have everything I need. There's no amount of money that will convince me to try to kill this beast. No, you don't have everything. You like these macabre woods, correct? I was going to cut it all down and make it a useful farmland. Instead, I will give the land to you. That's it. You can kill this make-believe beast there is. Bye, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay her tab at the tavern for a year. No <laughs> deal! <laughs> Great, now let's get these bodies back to town. <laughs> these bodies are <laughs> so heavy and hard. At least the beast ate most of them. Let's <laughs> carry <laughs> Oh, Mrs. E. 
burger. <laughs> I was wondering if I could have more of that elixir. I have a rendezvous with late. Burn that. Burn that later tonight. You here for another elixir? Not going to ask me about the werewolf? You, you know about that? You don't get to live as long as I, acting a fool and averting my eyes from the obvious. Uh, let me see. You're lucky I'm so fond of your sweet Bernadette. Otherwise, I wouldn't be giving you these little blue elixirs for free. I was wondering if I could have more of that new one you gave me last time. It made me feel young again. My back doesn't hurt. I have endless energy. And I don't have to worry about the villagers replacing me. <laughs> you have to look strong to be in charge, you know. It's not easy being made. Is it now? I'm surprised the new elixir didn't help with your little problem. <gasps> Ooh, it's a common problem for men. <laughs> now, is there anything you want to ask me before I give these to you? Um, thank you? You're going to let me live in the woods. I think not. Between you and my annoying wife, who's always asking me about these horrid woods, if I stop to ask permission from every shrew and toad that lived here, this village wouldn't exist. No matter what anyone tells me, this forest is going to be burned to the ground. If it, was, if it wasn't for burning that pasture in me, I wouldn't have offered to build you a house in this village to live. But that wasn't good enough for you. If you want to stay in this shack while the forest is in the hell, then be my guest. Oh. Uh, I forgot the. Yep. Don't think I forgot about the first time I met you. You came to see me asking to see your future. After consulting the fireflies and the spirits, it was said that you weren't supposed to win the election and become mayor. So tell me, how is it that you won and Oliver lost? Watch what you accuse me of, witch. Ah! Happen. 
But he'll have a perfectly reasonable explanation, I'm sure of it. No. <laughs> I know us! You, Zach, need to explain what happened last night. You had one job. It was a werewolf. I saw it. But I grazed it in the shoulder. And we look at each other's shoulders, we'll know who the werewolf is. You have to believe, you believe me yesterday, Marabas. Why not now? All I remember was that you knew where the two bodies were back in the woods. And you were hired to guard the village. And there is yet another fatality. Which gives me every right to suggest that you, Zacchaeus, are the killer. What? You're just crazy. Making up this werewolf just to try and cover up your tracks. Living in those woods, drove you mad. We should swing you up here right now, right now, for all your crimes. Yeah! You can't kill someone without a trial. Shut up, Oliver! You are not the man! I am! Yeah. No, please don't! Oh, come on! I know what the world is now. I'll take you out to save us all from it now. But like we can use an undertaker around here. <laughs> Remind me to give you a raise. What? <laughs> when Zachy is gone, the killing will stop. Oh, you're crying. <laughs> well, that's awkward. <laughs> I'm going to head back to the office now. <laughs> we all done. Find someone to clean this mess up, will you?
too tired to think. Let's get these bodies buried. I'm going to close the office for today. Uh, don't you think we should talk to the survivors and try and figure out who the killer is? Uh, maybe we should all stay up together in one building tonight. You can stay up and chit chat all you want, but I'm not going to be staying up all night in the same room as everyone else. That just sounds horrid. We'll be sharing stories and playing games. Waste a wonderful night's rest. <laughs> Do you think Zacchaeus was right? That it was a werewolf? Don't be absurd now. Let's finish what we started. <laughs> oh my god. That should be easy enough. 
But I must ask you, after everything Oliver told you, do you still think you are your husband's true love? <laughs> of course. I'm his wife. Now all we have to do is find August. <laughs>